Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm still tired, I am not sleeping well. And we're gonna make it through this shitty safe spot. Um, get everyone in the back all over again. You are but the tiny crumb. Okay, we need to get this dude in the corner so that when he explodes, he doesn't hurt the Gondian. After that, we're gonna try to get everybody to hop from here to up over here and then stealth our way over to the door. Fuck. I don't like that. Get your butt in the corner. Um, is that. Here's this. We forgot to heal him because of the reload. Oh, frick. Ah. Just a little further for me to be happy. That's probably as good as we're going to get it. Oh, fuck. Can I pull off a miracle? Yeah, that takes an action to do it. Oh, that's a big push. That'll work. He's still alive. He's knocked out. He's out of the blast radius. We are okay. Gotta be very careful about our positioning, though. I think... Okay, there we go. Okay. Saving again. He's still alive. <laughs> okay, okay. We're we're okay. I mean Oh my god. The game crashed. After how many hours of gameplay, it finally crashed again. <laughs> And we're back at square one with the day one setup screen again. I, I swear, I, I would have 20, maybe 30 of those extra character, you know, chess at camp with the DLC content or the not the DLC, but the bonus content, you know, in there. If there wasn't a limit of four. Oh, my God. Show nudity. That has to be. No, we're, we're recording. Except, oh look, we're back on widescreen. As much as I would love to record this the way it is, I can't do that. Oh, and now I just have to hope I can make those graphical settings work all over again. Ultra, hi, 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 ultra. Oh no, I can't do this on a recording. I can, I can do this flawlessly without recording, but I can't do it on a recording. Oh. Okay, let's do this again. Still don't understand what the trigger could possibly be. Is it because you exploded by that door? And good lord, that is loud. Where are you? Sound effects. Hmm. Big boom. Everyone heals. Clustered together. We are over here. Gondian is still alive. Loot the watch. Okay, we need to skedaddle. Oh, that dead body's talkable. Landpost Biggs? Hmm. If I walk down, it will trigger the others, I know that. Bane of book admonitions, so far, okay. Um, we need to get across. So let's just do tactical mode. We don't do this often. Um, split everyone. On the whole, you can go without intervention. Enough waiting. I crave blood. That is the thing. But you could also give someone else a long leap. I think. Yeah. Um, oh hi. Damn, you used to, oh, okay. Um, you don't have a thing on your own, but you have this. Oh, that doesn't work because he has a thing preventing it. Just take yourself over there. Target is blocked. There we go. All right, all right, that works, that works. Justice walks on four feet. And sleeps in my boot. Aha. You can do it to yourself. Jump. Eager for battle. 
useful. Can you jump without assistance? Meaning Minsk may have been able to jump without assistance. Alright, save here. Save often. Because who knows when bullshit will happen. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Where the fuck are you going, Jahira? Such authority. No rest. What the fuck, girl? Otherwise. Good lord, all because that table is just in a funky spot. It causes autopathing to do that. Oh, autopathing. Seriously, it triggered on the reload. I am so annoyed. I have to do this again. To live in more interesting times. Thank you. Save again. Okay. No. This fucking table. Everyone hide. Saving again. That's amazing. I should have paid Volo. I should have paid Volo. I still need to try. Okay. I snuck out, went back to camp, and gave Volo 1200 gold for these gloves and some helpful scrolls, one of which I already used. Save again. Clump everyone. Exit the mode. You're really going to stand right on the red, dude. The cramp. <laughs> what? Still in shadow. Ever ready. Can, can you walk over here, girl? Come on. Don't mind me. Okay. Saving again. Because I have trust issues now. So I'm going to assume all the gauntlets have the thing. Gosh, there's a lot of them. I mean, I guess we can risk it and just see if we can do it. Nope. Vessel identified. I am pleased to report that we have sourced a vessel and pilot to transport the hostages to, uh, to the Iron Throne. Red Hammer is a godless fool. But his love of gold outweighs any mortal qualms he might have. He will do for now. Hans Reeves break off. Hmm. So who who is doing this red right here? Is it because of you? Because of you. There used to be a distraction spell. Remember that being all over early access. I'm willing to bet that scroll knock won't work because they'll just hear it. We can't disguise ourselves as Bay Knights, can we? I usually never use this. I am so confused. So it's it's a randomizer, I regret that, but we somehow got only her attention? I only got her attention? Hey, if we could get her up here alone. I'm down with that. Oh yeah, she's still wearing the gauntlets. Probably good to hold the, hold the gauntlets for a bit longer. Time to strike. Fuck. A little bit of movement alerted them. I hate that. Okay, clearly that was an asinine idea and I'm sorry for attempting it. So like I was originally thinking, there was once a distraction spell. Do I have a scroll for it? No. But another idea just popped into my noodle. Keeping 
And I am willing to reload to get this right. I know what to do. It only aggroed her alone again, so maybe I don't have to succeed on that like I wanted to. Okay, so I tried to do a tricky tricky just to get through and maybe bring this one thing with this one person with me. I successfully pick locked the door. Why is this now happening? Motivators are rigged in the same way. Opening the door will set it off with no way to deactivate it. We literally already pick locked it. What the fucking hell? Who says there is a better time, but very well. I can't even catch my breath. Okay, now I'm just curious at this point. Brain jars. Okay, so the thing controlling them really is big brains. The easy path. Seems simple enough. Control center. Something tells me the prisoners aren't in here. I mean, at this point, I'm just seeking knowledge. Hellfire Watcher. Steel Watcher Titan. So did I waste all of my time coming to like the end? end of this place instead of going to where I thought I was going for the prisoners. Oh, that's just me doing things out of order again. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas, etc. Today is the first of the new year. I have not recorded in many, many days and I have been given the advice to just go ahead and attack this first group because everything that I did I did out of order way way too soon okay three two one So we're going to need to knock them out. Can't give up, not now. Prinsky's motivation there we go. activated. Hurry! Oh, I can't deactivate it. Hold on. Starion, will you be the hero? This is exactly what we wanted. Well, that's easy. That's off. Ah, look at that! Suddenly they're free! Which means the others in the other room should be good to go as well. I really do hope that's the only one. Bye bye! There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
no auto talking. Okay. Got some key. Kill switch. Let's see infernal stuff. Myzel. Right now. Where are these bodies? Yeah, I should probably talk to them. Okay, so we got a key that I didn't read the description of before it went into the abyss. But we have a note. Caution, Prince Key's motivator is the supreme bayonite means of ultimate coercion, but it is useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the user, only, the user has only a moment to deactivate it before the prison tank charges detonate and the hostages are killed, taking with it our leverage over the Gandhian artificers. Threaten convincingly, but never go to full detonation unless the entire foundry falls, in, falls to our enemies. Details. So long as you hold the motivator, you are safe from the Gandhians, for they know if that if you are attacked, their loved ones will die. However, to prevent accidental massacre, the motivator can be deactivated easily with the correct input. Don't worry about the Gandhians. They'll be too terrified to grab a dropped motivator. They are weak and cowardly. The natural prey of the worshippers of Bane. Oh, they're scientists. They're innovators. They're not weak. Not now. Later. God help me. The overseers are gonna burn us alive for all this. Our families. Everyone. Okay, that's that's it. Okay. Um, I guess I can't talk to them. I did see a body in the other room. I think that was already dead that we can go talk to. Um, Astarian, are you just? holding the motivator or is it destroyed? I guess it's destroyed. Because I would like to rescue the hostages before actually going in any deeper to the other area. So let's see what this is. If I can click on it. Come on. There we go. What, um... This is where it takes us? So am I gonna have to just target the main Bayonite? Person, I guess all main Bayonite people have a motivator. I. Oh boy. This is very not ideal. I am. Ooh. Okay. Silencio. Okay, so the, this motivator was deactivated, but. These guys aren't turning back to normal? Uh... I... I should... Oh boy. Ask, ask. Um... Ask. That damn bug is back. For some reason, Astarian doesn't have his other stuff right here, like everyone else does. That's not good. And then Shadow Heart is stuck. That's not good. Oh, don't like that. You know what? Maybe this one has to die for it to also work. There we go. And they're still hostile. Why? Oh, another one just got pulled in. 
This is a very annoying place to fight. Ah, so you do have a motivator also. I guess you're the reason why I couldn't just get them to join me right away. Yeah, it could be going all hours. Y'all are still red technically. Maybe it's because of the whole room. There are other people that have motivators. Okay, the fight's over. This person needs to die die. Okay, so how quickly are we gonna get into another fight? Apparently stealthing my way through here doesn't really matter. Submersible maintenance. This handwritten ledger appears to be a meticulous record of the steel foundry's production cycle. Update. Mechanical parts of the submersible that had passed their Gondian function warranty date were removed on Thursday and replaced with new pieces. Used pieces were brought from the dock warehouse back to the shop so points of wear can be noted and preventative measures can be taken to avoid fault or failure. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, either way, we already know um, they're delivering stuff underwater to the Iron Throne. That's that's already nuts to begin with. Okay, so from one of our other fights, Gandhian dude's still knocked out. That's fine. We have these dudes we didn't loot because we were afraid of aggroing another fight. In that request form. And then up here, this Hellbane, this Bane. Okay, so then, yeah, that's the Gondian. Um, do, 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 do. Mineral switchboard. Okay, let's not destroy any actual stuff just in case. Uh, that note we picked up, Bane at request for. A guard's written orders to protect or dash a submersible vehicle at any cost. Sounds like we need to destroy the submersible. And then, yeah, they had an altar to Bane up here. Which I'm guessing this is the new artwork for Bane in general versus the old one that just look like some kind of air elemental. Some, some kind of air elemental. Bit of an orcish face on the old artwork. If, if you know, you know. Bane's Book of Admonitions. A book of adages and precepts for Bane Knights, providing the basic tenets of worship of the Lord of Tyranny, which suggests prayers for common situations. The heart of the book is Bane's Twelve Admonitions, a dozen rules for proper Bane Knight conduct, with punishments specified for failure to comply. The book opens easily to a page with two of Bane's most popular admonitions. Number six, the reprimand for leniency, and number seven, the rebuke for false compassion. Can I just, um, uh. What am I to I'm do? just going to, uh. That's better. That's better. Oh, that's a fist. Yeah, that's that's his holy symbol. The fist of Bane. Can we can we the I guess not. I guess it's not technically there. Okay. Well there's the body we were I was uh, thinking about. Um already did everything down there. Technically it did stuff over here. I think. 
Or is that the one that I got at the end? Oh well. We gotta come over here now. Um who is left? One Bayonite. Two Bayonite. Three Bayonite. And then one Gondian. I guess we can wrap things up after uh, that fight. So for now, let's turn these back to the way they were. Oh, that was immediate. Okay. We did not get to... Okay. We didn't get far before that triggered. So yeah, one, two, three... Four. Okay, yeah, just the four. So y'all should be the last ones for this room. I'm gonna go ahead and do just, just to get us blessed. There we go, there we go. Do I wanna risk that here? No, I don't. Ooh, that was a good hit. Ooh, a nice 99. How much can you pump out, Starion? Oh, two? Oh man. Oh boy, that's that's a bit of a way. Time to press ahead. Really? Ah, uh, can we get it? No. <laughs> Damn. Boy, you're the one Make imprisoned. Way. And yet, you're the first one to run into danger. Aha! And you're prone. We got you out of the way. Okay. Ah, uh, can we get it? And that's all of them. Astarian, you are the man. And you're still hostile down there. Why? Ready. I won't give in. Okay. Well, either way, we still got to get you knocked out since apparently you're staying hostile. There's a zombie right there. In surgery? I just realized you're supposed to be in the chair, aren't you? <laughs> uh, poor guy. There we go. The final fight for this big ass room is done. Reeves failures as a Bay Knight. Hans Reeves calls himself a Bay Knight when he's a disgrace to the tyranny lord. A black gauntlet, Reeves? What a joke. I should be the black gauntlet of the Foundry Lab level. In fact, I'm going to compile a list of Reeves shortcomings for the Overseers. Then they'll see. These are just from the last 10 day alone. Reeves failed to reprimand Polandulus Pal for making jokes about Lord Gortash. Reeves missed the morning mass to Bane twice. Reeves didn't punish Gandhi and Offrin when she missed her gyronetics quota merely because she'd lost a finger that day in the punch press. And before I'll think of something. These people are so petty. Okay. Gondian is safe Objective and fine. Noted. They have been healed. We were looting goodies. I forgot. This one needs to actually get, there we go. Get gone, sir. All right, how are we gonna finish this up? I feel like I should be able to talk to these Gondians if they weren't still staying hostile. Um, ooh. I mean. <laughs> That's definitely a glitch. You should not be on the floor. Um. Sorry, bud. Oh, you're just like that one dude in the Shadowlands who was also in surgery. Like, this is... 
You're dead. This is a bug. Okay, let's move on. Efficacious brain removal. An excerpt from a practical introduction to Mirkalite operative necromancy. A note has been scrawled at the top of the pages. Make full use of the motivator should the Gandhian artifice just prove unwilling. Step one, orbital trepanation of the cranium can be completed using the provided trephine or drill. Ensure the surgical tool does not pierce that somatosensory cortex. Somatosensory cortex. The inscription reads, Fresh supplies for the steel watch, courtesy of Necromancer Balthazar. Ah, uh, that's where you fit in here. Good thing we dealt with you. The House of Wonders. The many faces of Gond. I don't think we'd get these types of books here. Of course we should. An excerpt from the history of Gond, the lord of all smiths. What is in a name? Many things, in fact, especially when it comes to Gond. While the gods are no strangers to changing their titles. Mr. make up your mind. <laughs> oh, that's very true. If you can compete with the Lord of All Smiths, boasting no less than six secret names. Aranlaerus, Balateng, Deras Dera, Deras Deras, <laughs> and Clanauda. Brangor and Ataba, covered in chapter 85. The gnomes were not content with this. Instead, they chose their own name for Gond. Nebulun. Okay. The High House of Wonders, Temple to Gahan, the Gearsmith, and the Wonderbringer. The house is at the same time an elaborate collection of workshops, laboratories, and Magico manufactories. For what better way to worship the Lord of all Smiths than by making all mechanisms in his name? Here in the upper city, all manner of enchanted clockwork devices are forged and crafted, powered by spells, by steam, by conjured micromodrons, even. Some say by hellfire. However, these Gandhian creations are not wonders for the sake of wonder, but practical contrivances built to enhance the lives of Faerun's mortals and help them work beyond the limits of their physical bodies. Take, for example, the mighty cranes that line Baldur's Gate's docks, loading and unloading ship cargo with speed and strength far beyond the capacity of ordinary stevedores. Stevedores? These cranes originate in the workshops of the High House of Wonders and are Gon's gift to the trade and prosperity of the city. I wonder if the old Gon temple from the first game is somewhere else in the city and we just haven't gotten there yet. Brain. Yep. Might be useful. I would assume so. Ugh. Let me just, uh. There you go, buddy. A cadaver with the brain removed. Let me just, uh. There you go, buddy. That brain is a bit large for that, uh. That cranium. Oh, hello. We have another. Okay, okay. I don't think there's anything else. Can you stop undulating down there? I think that's it for up here. Okay. Let's go investigate this little corner and then we'll call it a day. Orders to Black Gauntlet Reeves. Rives. Rives. <laughs> Black Gauntlet Rives, when the Steel Watch quota for the next 10 days is delivered, we will consider Watch Phase 1 complete and can start winding down operations in the Foundry. We will have enough automatons for our immediate purposes. And besides, we have an unexpected tadpole shortage that limits production. There is no longer a need to coddle the Gondians if they prove truculent. You are authorized to execute individual troublemakers and stack their corpses somewhere visible as an example, Lord Gortash. Whoop. 
Apparently, alt right click does that. I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna take that with me. Gandhian Lanpos Biggs. This this one was already dead. Like they were they were yeah dead dead before we ever entered this room. Please help. The Bay Knights have taken out family host taken out family taken our family's hostage. See, I'm not crazy. There are typos in a lot of these letters and books and stuff. This is just the most apparent one. Taken our family's hostage. They're being held in an underwater. They're that's where they are. They're at the iron thrown under underwater. So I could I could never just go and get them first. I don't think. Get to the submersible by the blank. The rest of the note's contents are obscured by blood. Well, let us find out where the submersible is. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hmm. So to get the answer we need, because we already know some of these, to get the answer we need, let's try this first. The pilots had my husband beat me for eavesdropping. The prison, the Iron Throne, it's underwater. Submersible under warehouse docks. How many guards are in the building? Gee, I don't know. Let me go back and count the bodies. The corpse remains silent. Yeah, it does not know. Well, I guess we got what we needed. The warehouse by the docks. It is underneath that. Tubin! Only Tubin knows! Really? I guess I should go back and talk to that one blind guy. I think that's Tubin, right? Baynites came! Took over the foundry! Forced us to make... Steel watches! The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Alright, everyone. With this mishmash of an episode, I am going to end things here. Happy New Year's, all that jazz. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, y'all be safe out there. Bye-bye.